Okay, okay, cut, cut. William, you're supposed to take a sip and then say, I've got a date, Tobias, but she thinks I'm in the tennis club. Then Tobias says, Join a tennis club then. Very good. Then you say, are you crazy? What do you think will happen to me at a tennis club? Then I say, oh yeah, they might mistake you for the ball. All right, then you say, what? No, I'm scared of getting tennis elbow. Got it? Okay, everyone on their marks, let's go. Okay, action and take a sip. Hmm? No, 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 you're lying, man. You're supposed to say. He did, he did. You just can't hear it. He's using some kind of telepathic. Then say it louder this time, please. Action. No, 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 wait. Cut. William, make an effort, please. I need everyone on set to hear what you say. Come on, diction, diction, action. No, wait. This is K-pop. Is Timmy. <laughs> this is Charlie Ann. <laughs> this is Peggy. <laughs> and this <laughs> is Reality Toddlers. Little Timmy was having a nice day until disaster struck. Teddy the dinosaur's jaw was too small to bite the head off Dr. Mustache. <laughs> There's more drama when Charlie Ann gets thrown into the mix. The chair wouldn't go any further, even though she kept pushing. <laughs> Will Peggy seize the chance to come between Charlie Ann and Timmy? Will there be drama during nap time? Will we just cut to more dramatic shots of nothing happening? Will someone please cancel this show and put us all out of our misery? The answer is in next week's episode of Reality Toddlers. We're here to tell you the story of a boy. A boy who was born different. Welcome to Everyday Heroes. Ocho might look like the average Elmore High teenager, but life was not always this easy for he was born with three pairs of legs. This is the story of the boy who had three butts. I guess I, like, yeah, no, it's never been that easy having three butts. Like, they don't really sell underwear for people with that many legs, so I have to buy black gloves, cut the fingers off, and poke another hole in them. I always worry about what the kids will say behind my back because, well, I've got a few of them. Back in the day, they used to call me names like the Three Buttsketeers. They said I won the jack butt, asked me if my toots sounded like a church organ. It made me kind of defensive. So now I'm generally a bit tense. You gotta move on. It's like my mom says, two heads are better than one and three butts are better than none. Which I guess is true. Imagine if I had no butt. Join us next week for another inspiring story of everyday heroes, the mouth breathing man. Stop! Oh no, this, this is not gonna work. Okay, you, give me a character that is optimistic, fun, and that all the children will love. Uh, okay, I think I got one. He's a dog, you know, some kind of Great Dane that can't speak properly, and he's got all these kooky friends who wear flare trousers and they solve mysteries in a van. Great, then from now on, children, you should give up on Gumball and watch this other guy. Uh, but isn't that on a different channel? So... No, 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 wait!